Hello leaders, welcome, welcome to some basics. In this one, we're gonna have actually a sneak peek to some nunchuck extreme um, tricks and redirection type of thing. So if you're a part of our Black Book Club program and you really enjoy this video, come see us, talk about XMA. It's every other Friday here at the school. Uh, this is nunchuck edition. Um, since we're gonna nunchuck this session. So I'm gonna show every trick with ProTech and our extreme nunchuck. I'm gonna put an extreme nunchuck down for a second. Okay, so our pro tech first. Okay, so for all of our extreme tricks, it's harder to do with this weapon. Um, and the reason I say it's harder, um, everything can be done with both weapons. And you'll see me doing both, both weapons, is it this weapon is slower because it's longer rope than the actual extreme nunchuck. So some of these tricks are more designed for the extreme nunchuck. Some, um, some of the things are gonna be easier because it moves faster. The faster it moves, as we know, it has more momentum. The more momentum you have in life, anywhere, it gets easier. When it's, you're doing all the work, it's a lot of effort. But let's jump in and let's have some fun. Okay, the very first one I wanna do is a 360 hand roll. This is the one that we're gonna upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Okay, everything we do in our XMA class, we know we talk about it, is you can perfect, you can modify, or you can upgrade. Okay, modify, you will see some modifications today. You can upgrade, which you'll see today, or you can perfect, but you'll see today. You'll see all three kind of today, just a little different. Okay, so step one, we're gonna work on a 360 hand roll. In this one, we have proper grip, and we have reverse grip. Reverse grip, you notice my thumbs are facing the end of the weapon. Proper grip, my thumb is facing the rope, which we've been using all along, okay? So I'm gonna start is, hold my thumb down. I'm gonna swing it around, thumb up. If you notice, the rope is on the back of my hand. If it's not here, it's gonna be really hard to do this transition. From here, I, from here, open my fingertips. Now, it's hanging where my pointer finger is. I turn my thumb and I grab the other end. And then move the nunchuck around. This is half. Do not continue the same circle. It will not work. From here, you do a reverse, go this way. Once again, you go over your pinky. It's hanging on the back of your hand again. You open your fingers. This time it's hanging on your pinky. You turn, lock your thumb, and let your four fingers fall in place. And this is complete now. So that is a full 360. I know the sound of the trick sounds like you have to make a full circle. It is a half circle plus a half circle to make it a full circle. <laughs> so let's try again. Thumb down, I move it over, let's go a little faster. Turn my hand, boom. Once again, go over, turn my hand, and I'm complete. If you notice, my fingers face you all the whole time. Now let's perfect it, and let's do it across our body. Let's actually put it on our body now. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is your thumb is gonna touch your belt, and you're gonna turn your thumb towards me. Once again, you're here, and you're there. Once you're here, you're gonna open your fingers up. If you notice, my fingers stay down to the ground. Just like I stayed out towards you, it's gonna stay down to the ground. So when my thumb faces you, I open my fingers and it wraps around. I put on my other hip. Once again, now my thumb's facing you all. I'm gonna turn my thumb facing my belly and then I'm gonna turn it, once again, my fingers stay down to the ground and I pull across. And I'm gonna reset. Let's try it again. We'll go around, my thumb's on my belt, it's gonna turn face you all. Open my fingers and then roots. My fingers stay down to the ground. Now I'm going to tie my thumb face you all, return to my stomach, and move it around. With this transition, you need momentum. If you just stop and open, it falls, <laughs> as you just noticed. So you need to, to turn your wrist. Imagine there's a doorknob on the ground. You turn the doorknob. So from here, I turn, I grab, place it. I turn, grab, and place. Just like that. So that is our 360 hand roll. So now let's do the next version. Let's make it a little bit harder. Hey, okay. so um, in this video, we're gonna work on that same 360, but now it's gonna go one way only. And we'll show you that is. So first, once again, thumb, you turn. When you catch it, you're gonna stop. You're gonna bring your palm up and turn. So after you catch it, you're here, you bring your palm up. If you notice my thumb is facing the cars, I'm gonna turn it face me. Whoop, and I open. As I open it, I grab it, touch my belt, put it on my shoulder. 
So let's put our nunchucks. From here, once again, like we talked about, it stops here. From here, I bring my palm up. My thumb is facing where the end of the weapon, you can see, is facing the cards. I'm gonna turn to face me. When I turn to face me, you're gonna open your hand. Woo, it's a little close to me. And you catch on the other side, and you put your belt, and you can add a circle up, and you're complete. So this incorporates almost like a triangle with our 360. So let's try again. Hip. Boom. Once again, fingers down. Once you open it, your thumb facing me. Oh, sorry, you. Oh. From here, palm up. As you bring palm up, you are going to turn it towards you. Hip, shoulder. And then fast motion will be here. One more. Here, there. Okay. Good. The last one is the hardest. It's modifying it. So it's a little bit different. It's a little bit challenging. This one took me, the story behind this one actually is, uh, I was, I didn't know this trick. I went to one of our spring nationals. Uh, it was actually be, be, uh, right after I tested my fourth degree. And the whole time the convention, I was just doing this. The whole convention. Just... So three days, sorry, four days in a row, uh, I was just whoosh, practicing, whoosh, practicing. No, I'll stop. And I mean, this I should talk to you all about doing it over and over and over and over and over again. That's what I did. I dropped the truck so many times. Uh, I picked them right back up and I did it again. Dropped them, picked them up. Messed it up, did it again. Okay. So I just had that perseverance. You just kept going. This is going to take some time. And with the ProTech, it's very hard. This trick is very hard with ProTech. This one, if you have extreme trucks, it's going to be easier. But let's jump in the ProTech. So what we're going to do is you're going to have your palm down. You're gonna do the hand roll that we just did, this one, or you're gonna do the other way. So palm down, palm up. So from here, palm down, sorry, not palm up, you're gonna palm, fingers up, my, that's what I meant to say, my apology. Palm down, fingers up. Once you get to here, you're gonna stop. From here, you're gonna continue to turn your wrist and wrap around right here where your wrist is. From here, you're gonna open your hand, and with momentum, you're gonna let this nut chuck continue carry through, and you catch it. Okay, well, this one's very hard slow motion, so it's, I have to use my other hand to assist. So once again, I'm here, I continue the momentum here, and then I let the nunchuck fall through. So again, you go here, continue it, and you move through. Okay, boom, I did the extreme version, not the traditional version. So again, you're here, finger, and I wrap around my wrist, and I catch it. Okay, so now let's switch from protect to our string. Okay, so if you have extreme nunchucks, we're gonna do all the same tricks, but now it's gonna be faster. Um, for extreme nunchucks, you cannot use your full hand. You notice what happens? It's half my hand. <laughs> so you have to use three or two fingers. Everyone's hand size is different. I know if you have the old school, the OG extreme nunchucks, they have three links. I think the new ones have the three links as well. Um, but if you have um, one of the other versions that ATA released, you have four links. Um, four links makes it longer, plus if you're a hand size, if you're a junior, your hand size is much smaller. If you're an adult, we all have different hand sizes. So I use two fingers. For me, it's the fastest. So from here, I hold. When I do a hand roll, I'm going to do it this way first. I just extend my pointer my middle. I wrap around the fingers. I turn, lock those fingers and thumb, and release. So half my 360 is actually hanging where my knuckle is, between my um, ring and pinky. From here, I'm going to throw it backwards over my finger, thumb, and I catch and I reset. So now I'll go across the body. So I'm here and there. Just like that. So once again, hip, one way, the other way, circle. Okay. But when you do it, you just, instead of opening four fingers down to the ground, you just open how many fingers you want to use. And then you just, after you're here, you just open those up again. Once again, open and close. Open and close. So four fingers, the fingers you want to use. Okay. This took me, once again, we talk about repetition and time and patience. This took me a while to get, as far as knowing how many fingers to move, not using all four, using just one, two, three, being comfortable just doing how many fingers I want to. So you're gonna have to practice that. Take some time. The second one is you stop here. Once again, if you notice the nunchuck's still moving, let it still move that circle, palm up, and you move it around. Same as the ProTech. So you go here, you put your palm up, and now turn your fingers up to the sky, and you pull it all the way. So here, whoop, boom, 
And one more time. Stop here. We're going to keep moving it out and circle. Good, beautiful. The last one's a finger thumb. Okay, so the traditional one we went over where the wrist was is to, again, clear more rope distance so it can come nicely to your thumb. For extreme, it's just going to wrap around your thumb. So palm down, your finger. When you catch finger, once again, two fingers, not whole hand, two fingers, or three, depends on your linkage and your hand size. You're going to put it around up your here. You're going to redirect it, and it goes, you know, so I did thumbs up. It's going to wrap around my thumb, and I lock it closed. So again, palm down, finger, as I do thumb up, it's just going to spin until I tell it to stop, which just means grab. Palm down, finger, thumb. Oh, no. If you let it drop like I just did, go down your wrist. It's going to go here, and it's going to pop because of the size of the linkage. So once again, finger, thumb, and then you catch it, and then you can add your circle off. Last one here, finger, thumb, back, and get. Awesome. Mix them together, and you're That's it. So that's all three of our perfecting it across our body multiple times, um, upgrading it, which is the same thing, but just one direction. Instead of back and forth, you truly make a full circle, but you have to redirect your hand. Um, and the last one is modifying the finger spin to instead of finger finger it's finger to another finger which is a thumb okay and you can keep upgrading modifying these if you find different cool modifications bring it in shows i'd love to learn more i love to teach myself more as far as what I, we can do because it makes us better knowledge is power okay awesome chip and pinier hey